So my name is Dr. Rob Bell. I'm your sports psychology coach, and this is the answer to the bell. A study was done that looked at individuals' names and the careers that they picked later in life. And the results were remarkable. It showed that the number one name for dentists was Dennis. Now, it doesn't mean that every dentist out there is Dennis, but that the names that we're called and we associate with, we gravitate towards that role later in life. So there was this one athlete and the parents introduced her as, here is perfect little Rachel. And I'm wondering in my head, how long have they been calling her that? Because perfection is a pretty high standard to live up to. Hey, here comes Johnny, our star second baseman. Whatever we are called, we're gonna associate with. Well, what happens with Johnny when he's no longer the star second baseman or Rachel is no longer perfect? What we associate with is this is what we've got to call our athletes, is we've got to call them competitors. Why? Because we can compete in anything in life. The best type of competition is always against ourselves. It's not always about beating somebody else, but we can compete in being a friend. We can compete in being a good neighbor, being a great teammate, doing well on a test and we can always compete. And the more that we compete with ourselves, the better that we get. So we don't need to put pressure on individuals by calling them certain names like perfect or this is our star goalie. We'll call them a competitor and then watch because that's what they want to become.